Hi everyone, I'm Jolene from Stay Real with Jo, currently a real estate agent from ERA. By the time this video is released, I'm already one year with ERA. Woohoo! So welcome to my first video series, my first year with ERA. I was actually shocked when I was looking back and realised, oh my god, I already spent like a year being a realtor. Time passed really fast. Hence, I thought why not share more about my personal experience throughout this whole one year journey. I think most of my colleagues or friends know my background, but for those who don't know me yet, well, today's episode is time for me to review more. So without further ado, let's get started. So real estate wasn't my first job. I actually made a career switch before joining the real estate industry. Just a fun fact, I was actually studying mathematics in university. To be honest, it's actually one of my favourite subjects. Weird, right? However, during my last semester, I didn't see myself being a full-time teacher, etc. I wanted to explore the marketing and events route. As I felt that it might suit me better, I could use my creativity to come up with different campaigns and events for my companies. Not only that, I could grow my network and connect with new people, be it customers or even partners. So ever since I graduated, I have been doing corporate marketing and events for five years in different companies. There were actually a few reasons for this decision. I went through a lot of thought process before making this switch. So firstly, I was actually starting my job in a new company in April 2020. However, COVID happened and on my first day of work, lockdown started. So I actually worked from home most of my time, only got to see my colleagues face to face, I think less than five times. But I need to be honest, they were really, really nice to me during my probation period. They made me feel comfortable working with them and the whole company did have like regular HR events via Zoom every week. So my role was to help handle events locally and globally for the company, which was something I loved doing. However, due to COVID, all my events got cancelled or postponed. I was definitely upset that I couldn't contribute much to the company, especially in the areas of expertise that I was strong in. So first month passed, second month passed, third month passed. There wasn't any good news about COVID yet and everything was still on hold. So if COVID was going to be here for the next one to two years, what would happen to my role? So in the face of such uncertainty, I asked myself, do I want to hold on to my current job or take a risk of moving into a whole new industry? Secondly, I know myself that I'm always a workaholic. I love to keep myself busy and work non-stop. However, I realised that I had been working and eventually had to still wait till the end of the year to see a small percentage of increment. So just nice at that point in time, I got to set up my own online business, Just Married, and it started to give me you know, good source of second income. So I thought to myself, if I were to enter a whole new industry and be self-employed, I could work hard and earn the achievements and income I deserve. I could set my own deadline, own targets and goal to accomplish in a specific period of time. No corporate politics or hierarchical structures to deal with. I'm my own boss, so I work for myself. So I was having all these feelings and talk process before eventually meeting my ex-colleague, Charlotte, for a long talk. You know, she eventually told me, Joe, you know your answer, you should go for it. And with her assurance, I decided to take the leap of faith resigned from my corporate job and started my journey of being self-employed. Till today, I'm very, very grateful for Charlotte. If I never had the conversation with her, I think till today, I wouldn't dare to make the switch yet. I had a few options in my mind and the reason why I ended up choosing real estate was because of the experience that my husband and I went through. So years ago, we were home hunting with an agent and we were clueless about what we wanted and not sure about the whole financial or timeline planning. So the agent actually walked through everything with us and we started to build houses and eventually saw one that we liked. We offered, but it wasn't being accepted. I wasn't that upset, but I was like thinking, wow, from initially didn't know what we wanted, didn't know the whole process, to today, we were able to find a place that we liked. So that's when I realised the role of an agent could be so meaningful helping people in their property planning journey, helping them to find a place they call home so that they can build memories together with their loved ones. So I decided this should be the career I should go for. Eventually, I signed up for the course and started studying for the exam. 
There are different agencies and many divisions out there in the industry. All of them are good and I spoke to a few too. I actually never heard of KND before until my friends spoke about it during our dinner. So I was thinking, hey, let me follow and watch Kenny's IG. So I was seeing him posting and shouting out for his division people on IG stories every single day. It made me feel curious and want to know more about the division. But that time I'm a bit humpty lah, so I never messaged him at all. So one day while I was looking through IG, I realised that one of my ex-colleagues posted a picture of the KND office. So I decided to ask her about it and she mentioned that her boyfriend works there. And that's how I know my mentor, my manager, Rickson. I reached out to him and invited me to join them at one of their income series training. I remember that it was the Art of Marketing by Gideon. I felt comfortable there and the whole team got the young vibe feel. So the office was like a co-working space and everyone just gathered together to do their work. So after going through the training, I just felt that the division has a plan for all new RES, getting all of us prepared when we embark on this journey with all the trainings that they have prepared. So at the point of time, I knew that this was the place. I took my RES exam for the second time in February 2021 and managed to pass. I cried because the exam wasn't easy. So I immediately texted Rickson, I'm ready. Now here I am, one year later after making the decision, I've never regret making the decision because I like the career more every single day. I get to meet new people, understand their situations, and help them out as much as possible. Overall, I think for a career switch, stepping out of your comfort zone and abandoning your safety nets can open new doors. But it takes more than just passion. If you are jumping into a completely new industry, ask yourself, how much do you know about the industry, the career path, the income, the outlook and the challenges before you enter. So I think it's important to know what you really really want before you make the switch. Thank you for staying till the end. I hope you all have a better understanding of my background and like what I have just shared. Hope to see you all in the next episode. Take care!